this one is the side where I've already put on the brow gel. Pag tapos ng 8 hours siguro or even 6 hours, parang ang tigas na niya, tapos may parang pira-piraso na dyan. <gasps> it broke! Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl City. Today is another work day, but I'm gonna sit down and do a quick review on the latest Sunny's Face release. And the last time I made a Sunny's Face review, it wasn't the best. I'm hoping na mas maganda yung kalalabasan ng review na to for the new light brow as they call it. I may not be an expert when it comes to brows, but I have my preferences pagdating sa pangkilay. So as you can tell, makapal na yung brows ko. So I don't really do much when it comes to um, my kilay. Tamang grooming lang yung ginagawa ko. Hindi ako yung nag-shape pa or um, nagka-create ng parang Instagram um, or Instagram body brows. Hindi rin ako ganun ka-skilled for it. But I'm gonna be testing out this two Sony's face na new products. Ito yung kanilang light brow. So, meron ako ng gel. And meron din ako nitong skinny pencil. This is not the first time that I'm gonna be trying them. Kasi I've been road testing them for two days now. And that is because I wanna form an opinion on them first before I sit down and give you my thoughts. So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. If these two are able to satisfy my needs when it comes to brow products. And kung maganda yung kalalabasan ng brows ko when using them. I'll start with the outer package as you can see, very sleek and nice. Expected of Sony's face. Ever since their uh, first release, nage-expect talaga ako na yung mga packaging nila panalo. So, you have the branding here. Sa likod naman, makikita kong para saan yung pinaka-product and kung paano siya gamitin. A quick how-to-use na tip. By the way, pareho silang um, paraben-free and cruelty-free. For reference pala, yung skinny pencil is 0.05 grams. And then, the brow gel is 4.0 grams. Ilalagay ko yung prices nila sa screen so you guys can decide if you feel like it's worth it. But for me personally, hindi naman masama yung price nila. Hindi siya ganun ka mahal. Hindi rin naman siya ganun ka mura. Of course, merong mga mas cheaper na alternative sa market. Tinanggal ko na sila sa box and ito yung tsura nila. This is the skinny pencil and this is the brow gel. So, start tayo with the light brow skinny pencil. Ito yung itsura niya. This is in the shade warm brown. Same as the brow gel. So, on one side you got the spoolie and on the other end you got the pencil. And this is how much product you will get inside. Okay, so I'm still twisting. And there you go. Marami-rami naman siya. And guys, in person, sobrang skinny niya. Even the packaging is very skinny and lightweight. And maganda yung mga ganitong klase ng pangkilay for precision and for creating that hair-like um, strokes. Especially when you have very sparse brows. Magandang gamitan to. There you go. You can create like really fine lines or you can build it up to this intensity and okay na okay siya for me. Kasi hindi siya ganun kalambot or hindi siya ganun ka smooth or creamy pero hindi rin naman siya ganun ka waxy. So I have my mirror here but um just a disclaimer like I said at the beginning of the video I am not the best when it comes to kilay. Don't expect me to create like a Instagram body kilay. What I like to do lang is to uh, put some shape sa kilay ko and then extend it kasi medyo maikli siya ng konti. So, ayun lang yung gagawin ko. So, I'm gonna take this pulley to brush through my kilay. Yung spoolie niya, okay naman yung pakaramdam niya. Hindi naman siya maaligasgas or sobrang tigas. I would have just preferred na medyo mas mataba siya ng konti. Now, I'm taking the pencil and I'll start drawing my kilay or shaping my kilay. Thank you. 
there you go. As you can see, nothing crazy. Nilagyan lang natin ng konting shape and extend the tail of my key light. So, this is the side where I've already used the pencil and this is the side naman na wala pa. So, as you can tell, meron namang konting difference. Mas maayos naman tong side na to. So, I'm gonna be doing the same dito sa kabilang kilay before we move on to the gel. really putting that much pressure pero naputol yung tip. Hindi ko mahanap kung nasan yung naputol na piece. But anyway, let's continue. Ito yung tsura ng kilay ko using the skinny pencil. Meron namang improvement kesa nung kanina. Na-extend natin yung tail and nagkaroon ng konting shape. And kung hindi man siya patatay, I'm so sorry. That's the best that I can do for now. Let's move on to the brow gel. Ito naman yung itsura ni brow gel. And nung una ko itong nakuha, I was shook by how tiny the brush is. Tuwang-tuwa ako sa brush nito kasi sobrang skinny niya and maliit yung brush. So, perfect siya talaga pang um, groom ng kilay. Sometimes kasi kapag malaki yung brush, gumuguhit or kumukulay siya sa balat which I don't like. Although medyo may parang uh, takot factor kasi medyo flimsy yung pinaka um, wand niya here. So, baka maputol siya. Anyway, ito naman yung swatch ng warm brown na um, gel. Compared sa iba kong brow gels, ito parang tuyo yung formula niya. Hindi siya kasing basa or kasing wet looking. Pagdating naman sa color, itong color na to is warm brown. Pareho silang warm brown. But, they're not as warm as I expected. Kasi, in-expect ko medyo may pagka reddish tone siya. By the way, meron silang dalawang shades nito. Yung ash brown and itong warm brown. I think out of the two products, this one is the one that I will be getting the most use out of. Kasi, mas gusto ko yung mga grooming gel. So, I'll now start to use this on my brows. So, one dip and then what I would like to do is to brush through my hair upwards. And then, kind of make them fluffy and bushy before I tame them down. So, ganyan. Ganyan lang siya. And this brow gel dries really fast. Like now, kaka-apply ko pa lang. Pero, tuyo na yung mga parts where I put it. This one is the side where I've already put on the brow gel. Tapos, ito naman yung side na wala pa. Sa dalawang araw na paggamit ko sa kanya, I noticed na talagang nakikip niya in place yung brows. Another thing that I liked about this brow gel, at the end of the day, hindi siya nagmumukhang crusty. Kasi meron mga brow gel na... Um, pagtapos ng 8 hours siguro or even 6 hours, parang ang tigas na niya tapos may parang pira-piraso na dyan. So far, with my experience dito sa life bra, wala naman akong napansin na ganun. So, I'll do the other side and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So, there you go guys. Ito na yung kinalabasan ng kilay ko after I put on the skinny pencil and the brow gel. For my final thoughts, I really like this too. I think both are worth the money. Number one, for the pencil, I liked how skinny it is. Hence the name. Talagang um, skinny siya and very fine yung strokes na binibigay niya. Unlike yung ibang warm brown na brow products na merong reddish undertone, ito perfect lang siya for your dark hair. Hindi niya gagawing um, mapula yung kilay mo and uh, for someone with thick brows perfect to kasi hindi niya nadadagdagan pa yung pagka kapal ng kilay mo or kung madagdagan man niya hindi kasing kapal nung binibigay ng ibang brow pencil so I really really like this and then for the brow gel I really really like the brush I think that it's the perfect um, size for my uh, brows na hindi niya tatamaan yung balat or hindi niya makukulayan yung balat I also like um, how fast it dries and um, how well it 
keeps my uh, brow hairs in place. The price is just right for uh, both products. Para sa akin, pasado tong dalawang to. And I also recommend them to you guys if you guys want to try Sunny's Face Life Brow Products. They are good and worth a shot. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my Instagram at mycity underscore. And I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts.